Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I've got these two exciting boxes to open, hence why this video. And I have received both of the products from a company called Grava Star, and I think they have a very cool theme going on on all of their products, so I think it is worth mentioning. You can kind of see them on the box, but let's have a proper look at them. Let me push this aside and go through the little one. Here we got a picture of the product, Grava Star Alpha 65, 65 watt GAN or gallium nitride fast charger. And it supports 65 watt of power with two USB type C and USB type A made for laptops, tablets, phones, and more, all sorts of devices. It supports power delivery 3.0 fast charging, safety, intelligent security protection. And going around the box, it says transform your charging with Alpha 65. Be cool, play it. And we got a faint look of the side of the device. And again, the company logo is Grava Star with a weird alien looking thing. And then on this side, it says 65 watt gallium nitride fast charger. Actually on the back, it states a couple more things about gallium nitride, how fast it is, as well as efficient and safe, and some other technology that supports better charging. And the Mecha robot inspired design brings futuristic vibes to your workspace. That is quite an interesting statement there. The mechanical or mecha is actually robot or machine type of things. I think it all originated from Japan. As you can see in there, it's kind of like a toy, if you will. There's a lot of toys that my son plays with that looks similar to this, like dinosaurs and robots. You got a fin of some kind. That may be the ear looking piece. And in there we got the paper for user manual. It does say that those two ear looking things are magnetic accessories and it does support up to 65 watt of charging for one single USB type C. Other ports, you can combine it up to 65 watt total max load. So here is this cute looking mecha inspired robot. So as you can see, there is a block of charger that is typical size for 65 watt of charging, but they have added this bits to be quite cool and cute at the same time. Perhaps you can unfold a leg. Oh, so it snaps in places and make it stand. That's quite cute. I don't know why, but I'm quite amused by these things. Oh, okay. So you can just put these things as they are magnetic and you can just have them angled however you like. And you've also got some design on the back. And I guess the LED lights kind of light up as its eyes. And you've got the foldable prong down here. So this can either stick to the wall or just kind of hang out on your desktop as a gadget looking piece. And as far as the port goes, you've got USB type A that is up to 18 watt of charging, which is noted down here. And then two USB type C ports, one is is for 20 watt max and then the other is 65 watt. So if I were to charge laptop, I would do it through this one. Let's have it connected to an outlet and see how it looks or works. Okay, I've got this extension cable and I suppose you fold his legs. His name is Alpha 65. So Alpha 65 leg folded and then the prong folded out and it just plugs in like that and the eyes light up. Actually, because this extension port is thin enough, you can unfold its legs too. It is literally sitting in it. And let me bring up a laptop so we can test out whether it charges laptop as well. Connected to USB type C port that supports up to 65 watt. And then of the side, and you can see that it is pushing 23, 10 watts of charging, 63. So it is definitely capable of pushing lots of wattage, 51, 40. Yes, it can indeed charge this laptop. How about phones at the same time? Another USB type C port. You can see that it is definitely charging, although it is going to push 
total of 65 watt for both of the devices therefore less power for the laptop but it is capable of charging both of the devices and i suppose i can take the usb type a port up there and then also charge another device such as this base us magnetic power bank for your phones so this alpha 65 is capable of charging many devices at the same time because of all of these moving pieces and pieces that could potentially break or fall off i don't think i'm gonna use this as a travel charger but it is definitely cool knickknack that you can keep on your desk and actually use it for charging your devices too quite a cool device all right with that on here let's move on to this big box i'll just have him sit in the light look at him Anyways, for this box is much bigger and it states Grava Star Sound from the Future designed by Zoyao. So the name of this device is this and it is Bluetooth speaker, audiophile level acoustics, sure. Bluetooth 5.0, full range dual speakers, RGB lights, 15 hours of battery life, true wireless stereo, shock absorption structure with legs sticking out in a zinc alloy body and yeah going around you can see it's look in sort of cartoony shape be cool play it i guess that's their motto on this side grava star and then on the back it states couple of specs including its battery life and capacity of 2000 milliamp hour times four i guess it has four of 2000 milliamp hour meaning 8000 milliamp hour and the box contents so let's get it opened okay pop the top and we got a cool logo here. And we see the head of this thing. I must say, they do look really cool and interesting. I've got the manual talking about its parts in different languages. And then two cables that are included in here. One that has USB type C port, right angle, and USB type A port. And the other one is USB type C into a 3.5 mil aux cable. So it does give a couple of options in terms of the connection. And I guess you just lift this. I thought it was gonna be all plastic, but no, this is all metal construction. It does have quite a bit of weight to it. So it is very solid and quality made. All right, let's have a look at this guy over here. Again, quite cool looking. I must say they really did well with the overall theme. Got this industrial looking screw up here and on the top, perhaps that is a volume control. And then it actually has a few buttons and this is the front, I am guessing. And at the bottom, you've got the USB type C port. So I guess that's where you do inputs or charging. And these legs are foldable. So it folds out and in like that. It's got a couple of notches and it opens up quite solid. You can't really twist it in any way. So you just fold it out like that. And it does have rubber feet at the tip of those feet. So if you're putting it on a wood top like this, it wouldn't really damage unless you drop it because it does have quite a bit of weight. So Alpha 65 has got a brother, Mars Pro. Quite an interesting looking device, I must say. My kids are going to be quite amused when they see this as well as I am. All right, let's go through the manual a little bit just so that I don't state anything incorrect. So it's got the Bluetooth button on the left and the battery indicator on its side. Oh, I guess I missed that part. So on the side, you've got an LED indicator to show the battery level. And on this side, it just indicates the Bluetooth connection status. And then you adjust the volume from the top, long press to power on and off, single click, play and pause, hold down the light button to turn the light on and off, switch color by single click, switch always on mode or not by double click, and you can't switch the mode whilst 
charging, good to know. And then there's a TWS net connecting. So I guess you can connect multiple speakers that way. And then you can reset the whole thing by Bluetooth and light button together at the same time or Bluetooth button and the power button to delete all the Bluetooth record. Those functions are actually useful because you do run into times where you just need to reset the device. All right, let's attempt to turn it on and see if it has any juice left. Ready to pair. All right, and it's got fancy light on them. You can see it blinking there. It's red and also on the back and on the legs too. It's got light all over it. Very nice. All right, so it's got the Bluetooth indicator blinking. So I'm gonna try to connect with my phone. Gravastar Mars Pro is listed. Bluetooth connected. And I got the volume indicator. So as I push this up, it's gonna show a different volume level on it. All right, let me have the volume at 50%. Quite bassy, I must say. Okay, so the touch volume control is quite intuitive. And I've already messed with this, so you can press the button to change it to different colors. I don't think it's all that clear on that camera, but you can kind of see it's light changing. Okay, so you press that button to pause and play songs. And yeah, it packs a punch and nice sounding too. And the rubber feet absolutely helps in terms of the vibration. Otherwise it would have made quite a lot of noise when it is resting on a hard surface like this. What a cool device over here that is really well made from what I can see. It is all metal construction and it's got some hefty weight to it too. And you basically plug it in with a USB type C port to charge it. And you can just rest it on a table like this and connect to Alpha 65. All right, Alpha 65, can you charge this big Mars Pro? And then plug that in. It shows like a solid blue up there when it is not charging. And then once I connect it, it's gonna sort of dim and get brighter, letting you know that it is actually charging. Alpha 65 is charging up this big speaker. I wonder if this can actually play with the aux cable as well. All right, I'm gonna turn off my phone's Bluetooth and just connect the aux cable to the phone. Yep, and it plays through this cable that was included. So I confirm, you can actually play songs via wire as well. So here's a look of Alpha 65, quite interesting looking devices, and they are actually quite functional too. Thank you Gravastar for sending me interesting devices to try out and showcase. And I'll leave the links in the description for you guys to go ahead and purchase if you would also like these devices. And if you have found this video useful or at least interesting, then please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. And thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye. I actually recognize that sound from StarCraft. That's the sound of Siege Tank changing its mode.